This is the story of a little girl, her grandma, and a big bad wolf. The little girl lived in a little white house. The house was in a village, and the village was near a forest. She was a good little girl. Her mother and father loved her very much. Her grandma loved her very much too. The little girl's grandma lived in a very old house in the middle of the forest. The little girl often went to her grandma's house. One Christmas. Grandma gave the little girl a beautiful red cloak with a hood. Oh, thank you," said the little girl. She wore the cloak all day on Christmas Day, and the next day too. She wore it all the time, so people gave her a new name. They called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said, "Little Red Riding Hood, your grandma is ill. Go to her house and take her this basket of bread and butter. Walk quickly to her house. Don't stop and play." And don't leave the road. Do you understand? Yes, mother," said Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood took the basket and ran into the forest. She walked very quickly. She did not stop and play. But soon after. She saw a wolf. Hello," said the wolf. "How are you today?" "I'm very well, thank you," she answered. "But my grandma is ill. I'm taking this basket of bread and butter to her." "Are you?" said the wolf. That's interesting. The wolf was very hungry. He looked at Little Red Riding Hood with his big, hungry eyes. Where does your grandma live? He asked. She lives in a little old house in the middle of the forest. Said Little Red Riding Hood. Is it far? No, it's very near here. Hmm, thought the wolf. Perhaps I can eat this little girl and her grandma. Look over there, said the wolf. Can you see those nice flowers? Does your grandma like flowers? You can go and get some for her. Oh no, I can't," said Little Red Riding Hood. "I can't leave the road." But you can come back to the road later. Said the wolf. Yes, that's true," said Little Red Riding Hood slowly. "I can. Oh, all right." So she walked through the trees to the flowers. Now the bad wolf ran quickly to Grandma's house. He went to the door and knocked. Who is it?
called Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. It's me, Grandma. The wolf answered. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Open the door and come in, dear. Where are you, Grandma? Called the wolf. I'm upstairs in bed, dear. I am ill today, and I can't get up. I've got some nice bread and butter for you. Called the wolf. He went up the stairs and ran into Grandma's bedroom. Then he jumped onto the bed, and opened his big mouth, and ate her. The wolf put on one of Grandma's night dresses, and got into her bed, and waited. He waited for Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood got lots of beautiful flowers in the forest. Then, suddenly, she remembered her grandma. Oh dear, she said, I'm going to be late. She ran back to the road, and soon she came to her grandma's house. She stopped when she saw the open door. That's strange," thought Little Red Riding Hood. "Why is Grandma's door open?" And she went in. The wolf heard Little Red Riding Hood. "Who is it?" he called. It's me, Grandma. It's Little Red Riding Hood. I'm upstairs in bed, dear," called the wolf. "I am ill today, and I can't get up." So Little Red Riding Hood went up the stairs. Grandma's voice is very strange today. She thought, "It's because she's ill." Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom. "Hello, Grandma," she said. "I am sorry you are ill today. Look, I've got some nice bread and butter for you, and some." Beautiful flowers. Thank you, dear," said the wolf. "Put them on the table and come here." So Little Red Riding Hood put down her basket and went to the bed. "Oh, Grandma," she said. You look very strange today. And suddenly, she was afraid. Oh, Grandma," said Little Red Riding Hood. "You've got very big eyes today. That's because I want to see you, my dear," said the wolf. Oh, Grandma," said Little Red Riding Hood. "You've got very big ears today. That's because I want to hear you, my dear," said the wolf. "Oh, Grandma, you've got a very big nose today." That's because I want to smell those beautiful flowers, my dear. Oh, Grandma," 
said Little Red Riding Hood. You've got a very big mouth today, and a lot of very big teeth. Yes, my dear, said the wolf. And that's because I want to eat you. And the wolf jumped out of the bed, and ate Little Red Riding Hood. Now the wolf was big and fat, and he wanted to go to sleep. He took off Grandma's nightdress and put it on the floor. Then he got back into bed and went to sleep. Soon, he began to snore loudly. <sniffs> he snored. <sniffs> Soon after, Little Red Riding Hood's father came to the house. He saw the open door. That's strange, he thought. Why is the door open, and what's that noise? <sniffs> Snored the wolf. <sniffs> Grandma's voice is very strange today, thought Little Red Riding Hood's father. He went upstairs to Grandma's bedroom. He looked at the bed, and saw the wolf. It's you, he said. He knew about the wolf. All the men in the village wanted to find it and kill it. What are you doing in Grandma's bed? Well, you can't run away now. And he took his knife, and killed the wolf. Then he thought, perhaps Grandma is alive. So Little Red Riding Hood's father took his knife and cut open the wolf. And Little Red Riding Hood jumped out. Oh, father! Quick, help Grandma! She's in there, in the dark. Then Grandma jumped out. Oh, oh! Where's that bad wolf? She said. Everything's all right now. Said Little Red Riding Hood's father, "The wolf is dead." So Grandma had a cup of tea and some nice bread and butter. Then Little Red Riding Hood and her father went home to their little white house. Little Red Riding Hood ran to her mother and told her everything. But it's all right now, she said. Yes, said her mother. But Little Red Riding Hood, do not talk to wolves again, and do not leave the road when you go through the forest. Do you understand? Yes, mother. After that, Little Red Riding Hood always stayed on the road, and she never saw a wolf again.